Page 29, Lazy Mary. I'll go through the routine I use to learn a piece of music and see what we end up with. I look it over and see it's about a page long. I see a repeat sign, but that, as far as the learning music, it's about a page long. The clef signs are treble and bass clef. And we're back to three four time signature. I see quarter notes, half notes, and dotted half notes. The hands are playing at the same time, but the left hand's only playing a G and a D. It's all it, throughout the whole thing, that's all it's doing. And dotted half notes is three counts. Well, if that's all it's going to do, I'm going to try both hands together. It'll shorten the video. So the right hand starts here, the left hand's here, and it's together. One, two, three, one. Just make sure on the second measure, the left hand comes up because it's resting. Again, one, two, three. That's pretty much the piece. Now you go down to the third line, the last two measures. The G, your right hand is tied. You need to hold it down for six counts. The left hand is not tied. You gotta play it again. One, two, three, one, two. See, I held that down by playing that again. Now in the last line, the left hand, the last two measures, the left hand is tied. You're gonna hold it down for six counts, but you're playing the right hand. One, two, three, one, two. Three. See, I held that down throughout. So it depends on who's tied and who's not. Once I have the notes and the rhythms worked out, I go back and get rid of any hesitation. So it's a steady beat. And I think about the articulation. Here we have the slurs so lift up between. Lift up. Lift up. It's like taking a breath. The left hand, you just play it. There's not a lot going on there. And then once I have the articulation under control, I think about the dynamics. F at the beginning is forte or loud. Whatever you think loud is. Here, and that's the melody. This needs to be soft, light here. Because it's going to be easy for this to overpower this. It doesn't take much. So make sure you make an effort to get that left hand soft all the way. So, the last line is P for soft, here. That means the left hand's got to be super soft, because we want to hear the melody. Here, this is there, but it's in the background. Yeah. So once I have an idea of the dynamics, then I think about the speed, moderately. Not fast or slow, just in the middle, whatever. Two, three, well, that's fine. It could go just a hair faster, maybe. I don't know. Remember the natural accents? Three, four times. One, two, three. One is the beginning. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Feel these. One, two, three. All the way through. The repeat sign, you go back and do it all. That's why there's two sets of words. So it's actually three lines longer than it looks. Mm -hmm. Please don't copy me. You, you get into it and feel the music and you make it yours. Let's play it together very slowly. Now this is after you've learned it. I'm not going to do any louds and softs. I'm just playing the notes and the rhythms. We will do the repeat. I'll give us three counts because there's only three beats in a measure. One, ready, go.
three.